Hello guys, once again, my name is Mario Ronchi. I'm a brand strategist at Manufacture, help, uh, where we help high-performing real estate companies discover what they need to do so that they can attract quality clients and agents to scale their business. And we're back with another episode of uh, Raising the Bar in Real Estate Brands. So, today we have a personal real estate brand. So, if you are an individual broker, this would be a very, this is a very interesting episode. So, let's get right into it. So, this guy's name is Ryan Surhant. So, first off the bat, you can tell it's a personal brand, right? You show the face, nice little arrangement. Ooh, okay. I didn't, it's like moving around. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's interesting. It's a nice little design effect. Um, right off the bat, you get who he is. Sirhant, trying to transform himself into one of the most successful real estate brokers, etc. Yeah. Oh, does he have his own uh, his own team? Oh, okay. See, this is an interesting one because I thought I was coming in here and I was just looking at a personal brand. He actually has a team. So he's actually, so he has his own brand, his own real estate broker brand, his personal one, meaning himself. And he has the Sir Hant team, which is his company, I believe. Yes, exactly. It is his company. So New York, Brooklyn, Hamptons. Good social proof here. Very good social proof. Forbes, Wall Street, New York Post, Business Insider. Um, again, a good, okay, good closure rate, very good, yeah, to put that there. Um, untouchable market research, that's a really good claim to fame. Yeah, so this is the team, and look, interesting, Jesus Christ, okay, man, this guy is really good. So he has a social media, apparently, um, trackers, I don't know what this is, it's like, um, it's like different different things that uh, show the amount of followers that he has on social media, which is actually pretty good. It's really good. Because you're, you're basically showing, you know, the social proof throughout the entire platforms that you have here. YouTube, it's LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter. He's on all the major platforms. That's good. New developments, and of course, testimonials, which is always good. You always have to get to testimonials um, kind of a good combination between testimonials and data if you have that if you can do that that's really good for a company um, for your real estate brand uh, press television yeah okay so let's just go back to the main site for now we'll explore this later on um, man this is really good site design gotta say right off the bat so yeah a really good typography very good use of typography clean nice I think I could, I think that might be future or regular. Um, I don't know if anyone really cares about that except the designer and me. <laughs> I only care about that. But yeah, no, 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 that's a good font. It's a good, nice, modern font. And okay, he has a vlog too. He has a vlog too. Yeah, okay. And of course, the social media trackers. Wow, okay, so he puts, he actually, put, apparently he designs websites so he could put his Instagram, I believe. Yep. And his YouTube videos. Oh, no, no, this is Instagram. He put his Instagram account. So, yeah, kind of like what Missy Nam does is that you just put the Instagram account there. Good. So, let's just go book. What's this book? Oh, it's a book. Sell it like Sir Hand. I like that. That is a very good book title. Exactly. Yeah. Books are good as well as uh, pieces of content to build your authority as well. Because, I mean, Anyone who has written a book is known as an authority in the industry. It just shows that you know your stuff, you're willing to write a book about it, and you're willing to, you know, share that information with everyone and put it online for everybody to, uh, to learn from. I mean, if you carry a book to you, your next networking event, to your next real estate networking event, and it's designed properly and it has a bunch of, you know, valuable information in it, then I guarantee you it's going to do 10 times or 20 times more effectiveness than having just a business card or giving out a business card. You know, here's another subtle use, a subtle use of body language, actually. Very interesting. Pointing up 
to the thing, leading the eye up to uh, uh, what he's talking about. So million dollar listing, talk about the description of the book. So yeah, um, but yeah, very good use of body language. Um, you know, powerful straight on eye contact, clasping of the hands, almost like a steeple type motion to convey confidence. Um, I don't know what this is. I'm not that much of an expert in body language, but I guess it means like he's ready for action. He's ready to, he's ready to sell houses. So yeah, very good use of photography and body language. Very creative use of that. Uh, the only place I've seen that used is on uh, another website, not a real estate website. But it was uh, Vanessa Van Edwards, and she uses body language on her website as well, obviously, because she's a body language expert. So yeah, good use. You know, if you're looking to you know create authority, a book is also a very good idea. Events. What is this? He's a speaker. This is, again, another piece, powerful, powerful piece of if you're a personal brand yourself or even, you know, if you're like in a company, right, and you have, and you're the owner of the company, going to speak and talking about your own, um, yeah, again, talking about real estate and personal branding. Oh, look at that. What a coincidence. We're just talking about that right now. So, yeah, so he's at Agent 20. 21, that's a good event to go to. Yeah, with Gary Vaynerchuk, Ryan Serhant, perfect. So you see, he's he's uh, he's creating these events so he can go and talk. And, you know, when you're on the stage, you're immediately perceived as an authority only because speaking on stage is one of the most scariest things to do. It's one of the most scariest things to do. And you yourself, when you go up there, you are showing everyone that, listen, I have the guts to go on stage. I'm going to teach you about something. I'm going to help you on something, or I'm going to let take, you know influence you on something, whatever it may be, right? So you're already putting yourself in a position of power, um, not in the you know, power, but like a position of power, meaning there you know, people are listening to you, people are you know looking for your guidance on stage, which is good, very good. You know, some of this stuff is I would say is really particularly common sense, but I guess it needs to be repeated because common sense isn't so common. But yeah, blog, his blogs, again, blogs are really good too, you know. Three easy tips to increase sales immediately. One habit of killing your success. Okay, very interesting point here. Very good use of headline copy. So three easy tips. One habit killing. Three things. Apparently, um, for some reason, um, uh, numbered posts with like three things or 20 things or 24 things you know, or question, or uh, question headlines like why you should do more, or how to do this, or um, do you want to be like, whatever, right? Um, they always have more attention grabbing value for some reason. They grab more attention. They grab more eyeballs. People click on those things more. So when you go here, yep. Yeah, and, and three easy tips, because I guess the human brain really likes shortcuts. So when you put three easy tips, boom, you get three easy tips. I can use this. I'm going to implement this. Value your time. Focus on the deal, not the sale. Practice your craft. So simple, very simple, very simple content. So what else? Shop. He's a shop. He has a shop. Didn't even. Can real estate people even sell merchandise? He. he ha! This this is really good. This is really good. Okay, so this guy has a merch line basically. Uh, this is an interesting thing. YouTubers have been doing this lately as well. It's just that they've been putting out merch lines. Sirhan team, Ray said go. This is good. This is good. You know, a merch is very very good because again, it's an extension of your brand, right? In this case, it's not that he wants to own a clothing line. It doesn't matter for that. What matters is that. He has Sirhant on your on your head, or he has you know you wearing his shirts, because that's influence right there. Wherever people go, that's free advertising, technically. You know, obviously it's not a mal in malice in any sort of way. It's just that's how it works, right? You know, you you put on the hat, you're advertising. You know, who you're standing for, who you like, which brands you follow. You know, this uh, Supreme uh, does this. All, all great clothing brands do this to a degree. But here he's just using this as an extension of his brand, and that's a really, really smart, smart thing that I've not seen people in real estate do. 
I have not, not none once. So you go to about page, really well done. Again, yeah, it's, there's a story behind it, right? There's a story behind it. So on September 15, you know, collapsed. Boom! There's like a, there's like a, there's like a, there's a, an event that happens, a pain that happens. So yeah, there's a pain that happens. Yeah, there's a, there's something that, oh, there's something that rips up his life. It's like uh, action, right? Um, Lehman Brothers file for bankruptcy. Boom! He's out of, out of business. But then he becomes a real estate mogul. How does he do it? Right? As he slowly recovered, he became one of the most successful brokers in the world. You know, then he became a film and television star, and then there's his personal life. He even puts his personal life here. Uh, Sirhan is an active supporter of nonprofit organizations. Again, uh, Ronald McDonald House, Habit for Humanity, Pink Agenda, UNICEF. This is good. Yeah, he's showing that you know he's giving back to his community and whatnot. Very well done. So yeah, this is again, this is story. It's not story like uh, Heinz, which is like professional story. Like I built a company. It's more about. I went through this struggle, I went through that struggle, and then I came up and I, you know, became the, one of the most successful brokers in the world. And by the way, he even runs this company now, um, which is the Sirhan team. So let's go here, and let's look at the team. Again, really good use of photography and body language. Everyone is looking like a fucking winner here. Oh, they even have the flip over things. Just shows personality, right? I mean... You're in real estate. You don't need to be boring. You can do what you can be whatever you, you can do whatever you want. You can show your personality. You know, no one's gonna run away from your business. You know, and even if you let's say in people if people run away from your business because of your personality, then that's someone you shouldn't be doing business with in the first place. But look, they're fun. I'm sure they they love working at this company, given that amount of freedom already with the photography. Uh, and they have a really good list of brokers, which is good, very good. The people I trust with my life and yours. This is a very powerful statement, right off the bat. People I trust with my life and yours. So this guy knows what he's selling. He's selling people their lives. He's selling the people a good experience. But he's also, he's also commending his team. He's also saying, you know, I really trust my team that I'm so, I love my team so much. I trust my team so much that I trust them to get them that, get you the house of your dreams just as much, right? Same level of service and marketing. Oh, and they have a team report. What's this team report? Oh, so they do it this monthly May 2018 team report. This is good. This is good. Yeah. Because they, they show again how the team is working and the performance of the team as it goes, which is really good. That shows credibility. You know, all these little things matter. All these little things matter. So here's a book, a vlog. Uh, vlog. Here's a vlog. Yes, he does have a vlog. 21 questions with Larry King. Again, um, he is... He is, he's basically a celebrity, but in real estate, right? He's a celebrity, but in real estate. So his vlogs, um, his, he has a, a 67K um, subscribers, which is really good. His header is really good as well. Um, he puts out a lot, a lot of content. Actually, he hasn't had a lot of content, but it's all about the quality of the content, right? How to build a real estate brand. Yuri uh, is on vacation. You see, I can even so get some we... value from this. I don't even know. This is really good. So he obviously has an understanding of branding. He has an understanding of how to create an image. Not just with himself, but with his company as an extension of his own personal brand, which is very, very smart. Very smart thinking. Um, his LinkedIn profile is optimized as well. Star of a million dollar listing, New York founder at Sirhan Team. That shows his history. Again, real, uh, pretty much spot on. Really well done. Oh, and let's go to his Instagram. Okay, so right off the bat, you can tell book, real estate, YouTube, LinkedIn events. 
He categorizes these different stories so that you can flip through them. Believe. Let me see. Yep. We're up here on the balcony of my Soho office. It is a snow day. Everyone went home except for us, except for my team, because we had the biggest announcement in the world. What are you, what are you doing? What? And this guy get him on Tuesdays. So yeah, you can see that he was, I think this is what he was, he was trying to hype up the, uh, yeah, he was trying to hype up, uh, or, or yeah, hype up the, the, the book that he was selling, basically. Yeah, exactly. And through social media, that's what okay. How many people do that? How many people do that? Not many, not many. That's a really, really good idea. Um, so if you're making your book, I don't know, you, you, you document how you, are, how, you are, how you are making your book, which is really good. Build hype for it. Hell, even ask your followers for advice. That's also a really good idea, too. Um, so yeah, he's showing Ryan. Where is this? He's in. Again, he's using it to sell this. Gary, do you like this house? Yeah, the house is beautiful. Oh, it's transmission. Good. No, it's not transmission. It's just which is good. See, and uh, again, another way to uh, to market your services through your brand through this uh, online platform. Just for my mom or for everybody else, I'm putting this out there for better and for worse. Everyone, you have to watch vlog. Ryan Lok, number two. Amazing. Прекрасно. Красиво. That's nice. That's good. Yeah, this he has his Instagram on lockdown. Uh, let's check his engagement. His engagement is out the window. We, we, we saw the other real estate brands, but the fact that this is the thing. He knows branding better than anybody here. So you can tell right off the bat his engagement level is off the chain. You know, even, look at that. Yeah. 192 comments, 4,965 4, likes. Yeah, this probably took a lot of time to build, obviously. Again, this doesn't happen overnight. And, I mean, if we go uh, down, 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 I don't know, very... Overall, he's getting really good engagement overall. I mean, you go through everything. He's really... Really good engagement overall. That's how you do it. This is this is a very, very exemplary real estate brand, especially on the social media aspect. Um, this he definitely has a presence, and he uses this very well. Uh, Coming at you from my office in New York City, and I could not. It's all interlinked. It's all interlinked. You have the events linked in YouTube, real estate, whatever. So again, it's content stacking. He's a uh, creating the content or he's, you know, he's posting out the content about the book or whatever and then he's breaking it down. Okay, I'm making a book. Okay, what am I going to do with this book? Or maybe I describe how I'm going to make this book. Or maybe I show them how it's going to be an Amazon bestseller. Or maybe whatever, right? It, it, it different things to, to, to uh, entice the audience. You, so you, when people say they, they're running out of content ideas, it means you haven't break, broken down the content to a molecular level. And you need to do that to, in order to, you know, create reach like this. You don't, you don't need to create new content. You just need to break it down, spread it everywhere, spread it on different platforms, spread it in different ways. That's all you need to do. So yeah, he has vlogs, how to build a real estate brand, uh, just uh, different things. Here, really good design, really good design. You know, pretty standard thumbnails, and again. Not much content, all about the quality, all about the people he interacts with. So again, people you interact with are the, like again, your network is your net worth. So he's interacting with Larry King, you know, uh, that's a big one. Gary V is a big social media influencer. So think about which influencers you're looking for to contact and build your following around as well. You know, leverage that influencer, leverage that influencer's network. So yeah, I think that's it for uh, Ryan, this guy who's killing it in the real estate branding, real estate business, and real estate branding. 
as a real as a real estate brand as well. So awesome work, Ryan. Awesome, awesome work. You know, and I hope you guys get something out of this. You look at Ryan's stuff and you think, ah, how can I use the things that you know were dissected in this to you know help my own real estate brand gain some recognition as well. So yeah, see you guys on the next one. Bye.